Hey guys, gals, all my pals. I have another story to tell you guys. So, um, the story takes place a while ago, pretty much. And pretty much, um, me, Brian, Dylan, and Ethan usually have our, like, um, our usual, like, walks, pretty much, in the woods. And, um, this particular, well, actually, I think I mentioned this in the Skunk Almost Sprayed Me story, but, um, yeah, we have our walks, and what ended up happening was, like, we were French just fooling around, we were walking on a trail, and, um, me and Brian had this bright idea to, like, just, like, run ahead, pretty much. Similar to how I said, uh, Dylan, Brian, and Ethan usually sometimes run ahead, sometimes. Um, and, you know, th we were skeptical about this because they had plenty, of, Dylan and Ethan had plenty of time to talk to each other about, like, a plan of a prank or something like that. And, um, so yeah, we, we ran ahead, and then Ethan just starts, like, acting weird for, like, no reason, pretty much. And,. Like he just starts walking and he doesn't say anything. Yeah, do you know what he started doing? What? I think if I remember correctly, he just started walking off the trail because we're like in a woods. He just started walking off the trail, just like deeper into the woods off the trail. I'm like, Ethan, where are you going? And he just kept walking. But then we, it was just really weird and like uncharacteristic of him to like be walking off the trail in the middle of the, in the middle of the dark, really, in the middle middle of the night. In the middle of the dark. What am I talking about? But yeah. Yeah. Um, so we got to about, like, Cumberland Farms, that area. I think he actually walked a little bit past that, but... Yeah, like, yeah. he started, like, we were going to walk home, but instead he started walking, like, in the opposite direction of Seabass's house near, like, like Cumberland Farms. So we are both like, what the heck is he doing? And then we got to, like, the bank, like, the bank that gets, like, never, nobody uses. It's, like, I'm pretty sure it's, like... Just abandoned, but anyway. yeah, that's the official name of it. The the thing that no one uses. Yeah, the bank that no one uses. But anyway, so Ethan just like walked up to that bank, and I'm like, Ethan, what are you doing? And then he starts looking around, like he just he just like teleported there, and he's like, Why are we here? And like, what are you talking about? It's like, Why are we at the bank? It's like you walked here. And he's like, No, we I'm like no, I did. I'm like, yeah, you did, dude. He's like, I did. And we're like, Yeah. And then on our way back, he was just like saying how much like he was like really confused and how I didn't know how I got there and I think C you Seabass and Brian were like dude he's just pranking us but like he seemed pretty legit about it like I believe him because I don't know I like I like believing in like these weird events supernatural things I don't know I thought he got possessed or something you know yeah because my house is pretty haunted pretty much yeah it is you had some pretty bizarre experiences here oh, oh yeah remember that one time in the basement like the lights just like went off Remember that? Yeah, like I was walking downstairs and like I think you guys were playing like jump scaring me or something. Yeah. And uh, like when I arrived, like you guys were just like frozen, like you you were like looked completely shocked. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was like completely clueless as to what was going on, like because I was like, oh, what what happened? And like I wasn't really getting like a clear answer pretty much until mm -hmm. like pretty much the end. Yeah. I mean, it's one time, I think I was going to bed, and then I heard, like, I think I was in the closet, and I, and just in case you people don't know, Seabass's, like, room is in the basement, and, like, there's this door that leads to, like, the actual, like, storage basement. So I was sleeping in the closet Seabass has in his room, and then I just heard the, the like, door to, like, the actual basement, like, close, and, like, what the heck, and I thought it might have been, like, Seabass's mom or, like, Ron or something, so I looked over, and... No one was in there because it was like the lights were off and like the door was just closed and like what the heck was up, was up with that? So it was really mm -hmm. hard to get back to sleep that night because I was just so freaked out. Yeah. So I think I think sea bass has like might have like a bit of a ghost problem, you know, just just a tad. <laughs> I mean, I even did research and it's so unclear of like what could have happened here that could have like attracted like paranormal beings or. I mean, if anyone got, like, killed here or anything like that, or if we're on, like, a cemetery or something, or whatever, you know, could be anything for much. Yeah. 
It might have been a Ouij the Ouija board, but I highly doubt that because it's like made by Hasbro. So like <laughs> yeah. I I doubt Hasbro summoned a demon to see about his house. You know, they're the uh, same company that makes like Candyland. So you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I first bought it, Ryan was all like, that isn't the real one, and it's, that isn't the real Ouija board. I was like, dude, look it up, Hasbro, Hasbro made, makes the Ouija board. Yeah, but yeah. I think a real Ouija board would be like one that's got like the letters and numbers engraved into it, instead of it being like printed onto a piece of like cardboard. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um... Yeah, Ethan's pretty much a bizarre character, pretty much, if you really think about it. Like, I can I can tell you guys pretty much about him, pretty much, and just, like, my opinion about him and stuff like that. Like, you know, generally, he's a pretty good guy, you know. Uh, and in terms of YouTube, you know, he, um, he uses other people's videos, and... Uh, I mean, not so much anymore, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't watch his videos that often, like, but... Um... Usually what he shows, or what recalled being showed, was like wine sauce videos and stuff like that, pretty much. Yeah, because I think he hit it big with one of his videos. Because now whenever you search wine sauce, it, it's pretty much like one of the first results, kind of. Because one time he showed me, and I'm like, dude, that's crazy. Because he made yeah. a wine sauce highlight, and wine sauce is a streamer, so he made like a highlight stream. So, yeah. Yeah. We call him a vulture for that reason, actually, because he uses footage from dead channels and, like, you know, because vultures, like, scavenge, like, like meat from, like, dead animals that, like, die in the desert and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I thought you just called him that because just because. I actually didn't know that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to remember what else. Um... Yeah, he, t he tells me odd things. Like, one time he, on a Pats bus, you know, like, when I was just going to visit for that one time, uh, he said that there was this, like, black, well, this girl with, like, black hair. <laughs> uh, let's say something else. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I didn't want to offend anyone. Sorry if, uh, sorry if people thought my intentions were wrong. I'm not trying to offend anyone or anything like that. But there is this, Ethan said mm -hmm. that there is this girl with, like, black hair that just, like, he kept uh, catching his eye or something, or um, he thought wasn't there. It was, you know, something like that. But he told me about it. And I was like, oh, um, I might know what you're talking about. And uh, I thought he was talking about like my friend, one of my friends that I know about, uh, that I know from South Portland, and because uh, I don't really know that many girls. Um, at our particular school, they have, like, black hair, pretty much. Yeah, black hair is kind of a rarity in our school. We don't really see a lot of people with black hair. Yeah, most people I noticed have, like, either, like, brown hair or blonde hair or something like that. Or both, like a dirty blonde. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, Seabass, if you're not done talking about Ethan, um, yeah? I've got a bonus little story about that quote-unquote Seabass imposter, the guy with the fedora. Oh, oh, I love to hear this right here. Because yeah. Officer Galvin um, stopped me about that. He was like, oh, some some kid's copying you or something like that. And what are you going to do if he becomes famous or off your hat or something like that? Yeah. Do you want me to tell about it? Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. so this guy's name, uh, I don't know if I should tell his name. I'm just going to come up with a name. Hmm. Let's just say his name is uh, Henry. So this guy's name is Henry. I mean... I asked him about the hat. I mean, I don't really know him that well, but, like, since he's, like, quote-unquote, messing up Seabass's style, like, copying in him, I was like, yo, what's up with the fedora? He's like, oh, I don't know. I just felt like wearing it. And then I saw him the other day, and um, I asked him about it again, and he said that he, he um, he's in the play that's coming up, the Footloose play. And I'm like, so what's up with the hat? And he's like, I'm wearing it for the play. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, how come you're wearing it so often? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm just wearing it because, like, I wear it for the performances or, like, the practices, and it just kind of stuck on me. So I think he's starting to wear the fedora, like, mm -hmm. um, on a regular basis. But I don't think he's trying to, like, uh, copy you in any way. But I feel like, he, like he's just, like, doing it because he kind of just likes it, you know? I don't think he's, like, just inadvertently trying to, like, like copy your style. I think you're just, like wore it once and it was like hey this looks pretty good on me and so he's like wearing it like more often now so 
Yeah, are you sure about that? Yeah, dude. He told me. <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah, I'm just, you know. I, uh, might, I might tell him, like, my friend uh, Seabass thinks you're copying him, and he's like, kind of, he's probably going to be like, nah, dude, I'm just just wearing a fedora over here. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what if he's all like, oh, with all the great and powerful Seabass, I shouldn't tell you this, but I'm part of, I'm part of a Seabass cult now or something like that. Imagine that. <laughs> that I'm so popular that I'm part of, like, a cult or something like that, or, that, like. Be, worshipped or something like that that'd be crazy just imagine just imagine going to school one day and all of a sudden there's people just wearing like leather clothes and like hat like like those black hats or bowler hats or whatever and you're just like what the heck yeah they're all like oh um it's the sea it's the sea bass or something like that yeah it's the sea bass crew yeah uh, that'd be that'd be quite the bizarre occurrence. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video, but I'm gonna try to think of another story to tell.